we'll go and have a little look at this amphitheatre. Especially while it's nice and quiet and I'm the only one here. I thought it'd have loads of people. Presumably here was their entertainment arena where I'm guessing they would watch shows. It's probably not big enough to be like a gladiator arena, like the Coliseum is, but it's uh, yeah. So yeah, obviously the past couple of years they've probably not had that many tourists. I mean today this is I don't know if it's one of the main bits, but it's it's around the corner from one of the main bits and obviously it's not really that busy at all and I presume at the height of tourism this will be very very busy like a, a section of the route like this but obviously in today in today's climate Jordan to get in you've still got a few restrictions and that will put people off I'm gonna head up here to what he says the royal tombs I honestly now I've been to the treasury I thought that would be at the end because it's like the main event. I don't really know where to go from here. Um, obviously, a guided tour would take you to certain places, but at, at least for today, I was just happy to do it on my own. So I'm going to be wandering around for a bit. I kind of roughly know my way back, so I'm not lost or anything. But whew, yeah, let's uh, continue on in the desert heat and check these royal tombs out. I'm guessing this is, is the royal tombs. If the sign down there is to be believed. Not a bad final resting place if you if you're a royalty here in, in Petra. Let's see if we can see anything inside. It's just a big room essentially. You can see the light coming through there. There's some pattern all over on the wall. I think that might be a horse. I'm back. Yeah. Bracelets. Bracelet. Bracelet. You want the bracelet? Do you have any that's not silver? Not silver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a man, yeah? For yeah. men and for women. Man. Do you have any that's not like metal? Metal. Just no. like this. And like this, we don't avoid it. Here, you like like that, you know. Right, I'll okay. be honest with you. We'll wear it. How much is the hams on? Like that. How much? Three dinner. Three? You give me. It's good you're putting it around the band. Yeah. Like Three. That. Yeah. Okay. How's it been? How's it been here with the uh, coronavirus? I'll be honest. Come, I'll show you something. I'll show you something before coronavirus. Oh, that's insane. So that's everyone at the treasury? Every day. Wait. This the every day, no? Oh my god. Every single day? Every day. So this is rare. Now better empty. Start the business. Start the people come almost two months ago, step by step, you know? That's insane. Before corona. During the day, 7,000, 6,000, 5,000. And now today? Now, today, do you see like 200, 300 maximum? Before one month, maybe you see like a 50, 60, just. So you, you lose a lot of money? Of course. I closed that shop one and a half years. I stay at home, boring, nothing to do. That's insane. Nothing to do. No. I close it, I talk. Watch Liverpool. <laughs> Watch Liverpool. Even also, Liverpool doesn't play because no people, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Thank you. At least you're still, you're still open now. Yeah, I open that. I be honest, my friend, the business not like before. You know? no. Everything now, I have to sell. Everything I sell it for cheap because I have to sell. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Before Corona, during the day, I sell like 300 scarf, 400 scarf. During the day. During the day, 300 scarf, 400 scarf. I look now. No. Now, almost one week, I sell two scarf. One bracelet, one fridge magnet. Yeah. That's okay, you know, step by step. It'll we'll get wish, better. It'll get better. Yeah, we wish you will see we'll see tourists. We are happy, you know. Mm. We don't care about the money, but we care about the life who come back, like before, yeah. you know. Yeah. I hope inshallah. It'll be okay. Shokran. 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 Yeah. Right, my friend. It's been nice to meet you. Have Take a good care. Day. Bye. See you later. See <sighs> myself. A bracelet there, another one. Because I really needed one. 
three than half. Just, I've, he was actually, he was like, from all of them, he just tried and pest you. He was dead sound and chill, to be fair. Unfortunately, a Liverpool fan. But uh, not everyone can be perfect. Already spent more today just in Petra than I did the past five days in Kyrgyzstan. And I only landed, not even 24 hours ago. Which is insane when you think about it. I have already outspent Kyrgyzstan by a fair amount, I think. And like you say, I've not even done that much yet. Jordan's definitely more expensive. It's one of the very few, I think there's only two or three currencies in the world that are more valuable than the British pound. One of them is the Omani Real. So I've already been to Oman before. So I, uh, I remember when I exchanged money, it felt like you were losing money somehow. You're obviously not, you just exchange it to a different currency, but that's what it felt like. And here as well, the Jordanian dinar is, is, is the same. It's a powerful currency. and. I uh, think that drives the price up if things make things feel more expensive. Should you say there's a thousand steps to this monastery? And I am. Um, it's going to be a decent little walk, this. Straight up there. In fact, the two girls in front of me and the guy of the couple in front of them are English. So I thought I'd be one of the very few um, English people here, but. I guess not, it's probably a popular destination because there's not too many other places we can visit outside of Europe at the moment, so here we go. I can feel myself starting to burn now. I'll take my mask off in case I end up with like uh, one of them masked tan lines again, which I don't want like I had in Mexico last year, because so that wouldn't be any good. I might even already have one, she might be saying this whilst I'm sporting one of those exact tan lines. I guess I'll find out when I review the footage. We're here. Oh my days. That isn't the easiest walk I will grant the donkey people that. I would say though, doesn't help. That I've not eaten in like probably about 36 hours now. I've had about five hours sleep in bed in the last 60 oh, incredibly oh, we made it to the top i'm absolutely fucked that was not easy very steep very short but was it worth it we're about to find out i'd say so that's pretty epic oh my days it was hard work, but we finally got, we finally got it. Could I get water, please? Yeah, water very small. And uh, I tell you what, big. Yeah. Let's go for big. I need it after that. And him. Um, yeah. Which, anyone? So the, come on then. Got one of these as well, mate. Nice one, mate. Thank you. Cheers. We can enjoy life. Oh, it was a, it was a different, uh, difficult hike, but it was just, uh, worth it. Hundred percent worth it. Look at that. That was some effort. That that was an enjoy. Bit of an ice volume. Got a big bottle of water here. And then we got that. Look out on. And then I'm gonna. I thought I'd go down and pull some sun cream on. I don't know if you can tell. My arms are starting to look like them squishy sweets. This gives you a better indication of it. Look at that, <laughs> look at that. Oh yeah, yeah that, that's what colour I turn. Um, some people turn a nice brownie uh, colour, golden colour. I turn pink. I just checked my face in my phone then and um, yeah, very sunburn. So I'm going full on Terminator Tom when I walk back down. Sunglasses, mask, and uh, I put some more sun cream on. So, whether that'll do anything, I don't know. So, I've got a slight bit of protection from the sun, my mask, and my sunglasses on. Now, it's time to take the descent into the air, into the valley, back towards the entrance. I'm gonna go and check into my hotel, chill out for a couple of hours, and then it'll be time to come back because I'm doing a thing called Petra by night. So, on certain days of the week, Thursday being one, it's open in the evening. Me and Anna collects the imbos, so we just got one of them from this place. Bottled it down from three dinar to one. 
So that's a little win for today. Oh, one of them could knock you over the side here, and you don't want to be falling over this wall because uh, the boot's going to end very well. So much easier going down than it is coming off, I can tell you that much. Jesus. Why I'm not thinking of how long to the bottom. I can just enjoy the descent. Would you just look at that? What a setting. What a day it has been. It's been a tough day. It's been a long day and it's nowhere near over. But it's been so rewarding. Great hike up there, definitely worth it to see the uh, monastery. I'm walking back up towards the royal tombs again. Incredible. So back at like the cavernous bit now, the uh, where you've got all like the alleyways with the big looming tall rocks. So not much longer to go until we get to the entrance. I've no idea where my hotel is. Don't have Wi Fi. I know it's in the town. But yeah, absolutely knackered now. I need to just chill out, have a bit of water. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to get back to the hotel. Oh, let's get some of this. Tell me. <sighs> oh, mate, when I say that was much needed, I absolutely mean it. I thought. Looking on the map, my hotel is quite close. As it turns out, it's up this massive hill. Oh my god, honestly, all I've done all day, it seems, is walk up hills. But we're almost there. Mate, this is going to be so rewarding when I check in. This is salvation. Hi. I have a reservation. We are here. Oh, what a journey it's been. Oh, what a day. My God. Take my shoes off. Let's have a look at this view he told me about. That is actually a very good view. I think I've done enough filming today, so far today, to warrant a full video. So I'm going to sign off here. Oh, my days. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching it. Um, if you did like it, give it a like, subscribe to my channel because that always is a massive help. Like usual, as I always say, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.